Uh, the facts and figures that I've been given today, um, there are, there is nobody in this area currently in intensive care. There are 30 people who are in home isolation and there are six people who have been declared as having recovered from the uh, coronavirus. But this is by no means uh, anywhere near over. We have many months of challenges ahead of us. Uh, the figures this morning suggest that nationally there are just over 5,200 cases and we're now up to 24 deaths in our country. As we learnt yesterday, unfortunately two of those here in our own region. We as a council uh, are doing what we can to uh, uh, provide economic relief package and the things that have happened in the caretaker mode so far uh, are A, we've caused, paused debt recovery on outstanding rates and charges and that's been done through till the 30th of June this year and that will be up to the decision of the new council as to how we deal with that in the future. Uh, we will refund fees and charges for forward bookings of council facilities. Uh, we are also concentrating a little more, far more in fact, on seeking quotations from local business for procuring works and services up to the value of $200,000. Uh, we'll amend payment terms to local suppliers to reduce the normal terms of 30 days <coughs> back to 14 days. What we're actually seeing in the business community at the moment is really three speeds to the economy. So there's businesses that are going flat out, so we're talking in the agriculture sector and parts of the health sector as well. We're seeing businesses that have stopped, so that's in the sort of the hospitality, restaurants, cafes. Then there's the middle section, so they're the, they're the businesses that are seeing a downturn on the horizon and they're the ones that we really need to focus on right now. They're the businesses that can't access the job keeper payments um, so but they're also they're looking at or they're actually starting to lay off a lot of their staff and we're talking a lot of the bigger companies are looking at that because they cannot afford to wait until their revenue drops by 30 or 50 percent. So um, we're really calling on the government to start looking at those businesses because they're the ones that are really starting to impact at the moment. But we do commend the federal government for their assistance packages. So the JobKeeper has been an absolute godsend for businesses in the hospitality sector. Um, we do commend the Queensland government. They've, uh, they've put $4 billion worth of economic stimulus on the table. Um, so, but we are looking at, we do need a little bit more for those, a, a large number of businesses that have some significant challenges on their horizon. Schools are obviously uh, going into the holiday period. Some have uh, had pupil free days all of this last week. Um, they will have roughly two weeks of holidays uh, and then schools are uh, getting prepared for potentially an online, online learning format straight after the holidays. Um, it's not a time to be ducking away on holidays uh, during the Easter school holidays. These holidays will be different to any we've ever had before. We should stay at home. We should stay close to home. We need to, uh, in particular, make sure our children are protected. They're maintaining their social distancing uh, 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 discipline as well. That's tough, particularly with young kids, but now is the time that we need to uh, step up and protect them. So don't plan away on going away on holidays, uh, don't, uh, don't plan on uh, travelling anywhere in fact, stay at home, look after your kids.